Hey everyone, Keith McGinnis here with KCDC Designs out of Eagle, Nebraska. Do you want to see how I took this dining room table and a, and a camper from that to that? Stay tuned and enjoy the video. And this is where it starts, just pouring out the colors and that's what you end up with. So let's get started. <clears throat> I'm just going to pour these out randomly. So the colors I used in this project, um, I used graphite from Just Resin. And because that graphite was darker than I wanted it to be, I added a little bit of aluminum from Just Resin just to uh, lighten it up a little bit. I also used bronze from Just Resin. And those are some of the colors that I uh, just poured out. And then alumilite brown dye mixed very opaque. So really, those are the only colors used for the base colors in this project. Right now, I'm trying to decide which way I want that to flow. <clears throat> and then I'm going to very lightly meld that in with my hand. And for one, before I get that melded in, you can see how I poured those colors out, where I have some areas where it's heavier, some areas where it's thinner. And I try to avoid kind of those uh, tiger stripes or those candy cane stripes, if you will. Uh, it just makes it look more random of where those colors are. And when I meld that in with my hand, I don't want to mix those colors and I don't really want to blend those colors too much. Um, I'm just basically spreading those out and filling up uh, the dead space. If I find some areas that may be too heavy with one color, uh, I might pick some of that color up with my hand and um, add it into uh, an area that might be more heavy with one particular color. Now here, when I stood back and looked at it, um, I wanted a little bit more of the Illumilite brown dye. It is such a pretty color. So I always leave myself just a little bit extra for those reasons. And so that's what I'm doing there is I'm adding in a little bit more of that brown dye. And then I'm going to meld that uh, back in with my hand. And uh, then at this point, I'm going to add in the green accents. And then I'll come back and meld. All right. And then... Uh... Let's get a little bit of this green drizzled in. Now when I add in my accent colors, I want to be aware of, in this case, this is a dining table for uh, a camper. So I know that there is seating on both sides, and then I also know where the entry is of that camper door and where those focal points are going to be. So I want to add those accent colors in uh, on the sides where uh, the customers will be sitting and then also as you come in that camper door um, because it has that rock edge I wanted some of that green uh, accent color to be flowing over that rock edge also um, so I try to be a little bit strategic of where I put those accent colors um, of where they're going to stand out the most all right let's meld that in and see what that looks like shall we as I'm melding in the Illumilite brown dye that I put in there and then also the green accents, what I'm also doing is uh, kind of remelding the whole piece because look how it's waking up those metallics of the, the resins that I just put in there. It makes a world of difference. Okay, I like that. So I know I'm going to be adding some veins with some spray paints. And before I do that, I'm, I'm spritzing it right now with clear 91% isopropyl alcohol. Um, it just adds another element of effects and, and really softens up the whole design a little bit. As that alcohol dissipates, uh, the effects remain in the design and really looks cool. Now at this point, I could easily walk away. It, 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 the whole piece really looks cool, but I can't walk away. So what I'm using is... Uh, I use all Rust-Oleum spray paints. I, uh, we have all found that I think uh, they work the best. So what I did was I have some uh, champagne bronze, hammered black, antique brass, and hammered brown. And I'm just spraying those. And I'm only going to have a couple of these veins, but I'm just spraying the paints down onto the surface and then using my stir stick uh, just to kind of push those into the resin. And then I'm just going to leave those alone and let them develop. So I only added in a couple of those uh, additional veins. Uh, and you'll see at the flyover at the end of the video, 
um, how much of a difference that made in kind of the overall look of things. So when you stand back and kind of take a look, it gives you an idea if you want to add more or if you want to stop. But at this point, I don't think I'm going to do much else. And of course, after I said that, I decided, yeah, maybe a little bit of this, a little bit more of that. You know how it goes. Man, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. Just an absolutely gorgeous piece, uh, along with the rock edge uh, that I put around um, the perimeter of that table. Really, really turned out nice. The colors used, again, were graphite by Just Resin. Added a little bit of aluminum from Just Resin just to lighten that up a little bit. Just Resin bronze, um, and then the Alumilite brown dye. And then the accents was uh, green diamond, which I believe is color obsession. And then I added some green, uh, it was a metallic from Bling It, just to give it a little bit of sparkle. Man, it really turned out nice. And see those horizontal lines in there? Uh, as I discussed earlier, that's from running that torch across there. And I learned quite a while ago that uh, what that's doing is kind of disrupting those metallics. But man, it just gives it a really, really cool effect uh, when you stand back and look at the full piece. So this really turned out nice, and, and again, it was just a really, really fun project to do, uh, including that rock edge. Um, customers were very, very pleased with it, and uh, okay, they were blown away by it compared to with uh, what they had before. Now, I did apply the Ultimate Top Coat in the natural finish, and I do have a video following this that will show how I applied that and then how that ended up uh, after I had applied it. And there it is with the Ultimate Top Coat and the Happy Campers. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and have an awesome day. Once again, this is Keith McGinnis with KCDC Designs out of Eagle, Nebraska. Just call, click, or write today when you're ready to take your space to a whole new level.